This lesson will focus on evaluating a function from National 5. If something has a function, it means that it has a specific purpose. For example, the purpose of lifting weights can be to make you strong. In maths, a function relates an input to an output. Functions in maths are often known as either f or g. Take the function f of x equals x squared. f is the name of the function. x is our input. And x squared is where we gain our output. Example 1. A function is given by f of x equaling 3x add 2. Evaluate part a, f of 2, and part b, f of negative 1. In example 1, we've been given the function f of x is equal to 3x add 2, and part a would like us to find the value of f of 2. Now, f, we know that's just the name of the function, and we're inputting various values of x to get our output. Now, to get that output, we have to put it through this function 3x add 2. We want to find the value of f of 2. Wherever there is an x, we are going to replace it with the number 2. So that just happens in our function. Wherever there's an x, let us replace it with 2. So 3 multiplied by 2, add the 2, leaves me 6, add 2, to give me 8. Part B. Start with your function again. f of x is equal to 3x, add 2, and I want the value of f of negative 1. So I'm deliberately writing these above and below one another. Whatever there is an x, I will substitute in the number negative 1. So 3 multiplied by negative 1, adding 2. Negative 3, add 2, to give me a final value of negative 1. Example 2. A function is given by g of x equaling 4x squared add 2x subtract 1. Find part a, g of 5, part b, g of k. In example 2, part a, we are looking to find the value of g of 5. So whatever there's an x in your function, you're going to replace that with the number 5. So I will have 4 multiplied by 5 squared, adding 2, multiplied by 5, and then subtract the 1. We're going through the rules of bid mass here. So in this instance, we'll square first of all. So I have 4 multiplied by 25, and then that's just going to stay the same for just now. So 4 multiplied by 25 will be 100. Adding on 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. Then subtract the 1. Go left to right. And from here we have a final answer of 109. Part B. Let's take our function again. So g of x. And that is equal to 4x squared. Add 2x. Subtract the 1. And I want to find an expression in this instance of g of k. So wherever there is an x, I'm going to replace it with the letter k. So I've got 4 multiplied by k squared, adding 2 multiplied by k, and then subtract the 1. Let's just tidy that up without the brackets. That will be 4 k squared adding 2k, subtract the 1, and that's your expression. 